Today is the day that I do my update review on this bad boy, Vampire Rum from Lorenzo Pezzagalia. And a bad boy it is. Man, this thing has a sexy edge. If you want to find out about this fragrance, please just stay tuned because I think if you like vanilla, booze and patchouli, you're going to love this one. good YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel my name is Mikey Cologne and I want to thank everybody for tuning in today that is right today this is my full review on this bad boy and it is a bad boy it is vampire rum from Lorenzo Pezzagalia superb it really is and we'll get into it but quickly if you're new to my channel and you do enjoy my content hit that subscribe button and if you do press the subscribe button, hit the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review for future notice. And quickly, this has nothing to do with this fragrance, but if you're interested in Uniki Luxuries fragrances, I have a 15% off code. It is Mikey-Kute23. That will give you 15% off the entire website over at Uniki Luxury. I do not earn no money out of it. This is not a pay promotion. They've basically given me a code that Uselock can use and take advantage of it. Like I say, I don't earn a bean out of it. I don't get nothing. But Uselock save money. Right, we're going to dive into this fragrance. This has been an absolute pleasure to test out. And I'm going to tell you straight away. This is how much I like this fragrance. I will be buying a backup bottle of Vampire Rum. There is no doubt about it. I obviously do wish that it come in a 100ml bottle because I would buy the 100ml. I think the fragrance is that good. But you have to appreciate vanilla, patchouli and booze because basically that is what you get with Vampire Rum. It isn't an overly complex scent, so to speak. Like, there's a little bit going on with it, but it's the way the fragrance is blended, crafted, the way it smells is what makes me think or know that this is a fantastic scent. I'm going to show you the presentation quickly. This is X Straight to Perfume, and it is a 50ml bowl. So it comes in these boxes, like so, and then they open up. And I think the bottles look cool, I really do. In the opening, this is strong. It is my scent of the day. And there is your bowl. And look at the cap. You've got an owl engraved into the cap. And these caps are solid. They are so weighty. The atomizer, not bad. It's definitely going on skin. This fills the air. It really, really does. Right, you got vanilla. Bourbon vanilla, Madagascan vanilla, Tonka bean, Tahitian vanilla, Moer vanilla, probably pronounced that wrong, rum, vanilla of the vanilla islands, white flowers, caramel, patchouli, agar wood, which is oud, Indonesian patchouli leaf, oak barrel rum, and black vanilla husk. Loads of vanilla. And that is what you get. When this opens up, you get the vanilla. But with this, you do get a boozy quality, and that is coming from the rum. But that is sitting in the back. The vanilla is very, very dominant up top. And then I would say after a couple of minutes, that is when, to my nose anyway, the patchouli starts coming in, which here is a little bit chocolate cakey. With this, or gives off a little bit of a chocolatey aroma, I should say. But with this you do get like this caramelized sweetness that's blending in with that vanilla. So it's vanillic, chocolatey, boozy, getting a little bit of a caramel quality up top. 
With this, you're getting loads of sweetness, but it's not overbearing. Like you would think with loads of different vanillas in it, it might be, and caramel, it might be sickly sweet. It isn't. It's tamed down a bit, but it has a nice dose of sweetness. Dries down a little bit more. Now the oud comes in, and to me here, the oud is what darkens this fragrance. It gives vampire rum a little bit of a woodsy undertone, Plus, this does have a musky edge to it on my skin. I do not get no white flowers in this fragrance at all. Like, I can't detect them. Maybe they're there as a supporting note to tame that sweetness down. But as far as that, I cannot pick anything floral really. Or I can't pick up anything floral really in this fragrance. Maybe it's just my nose or maybe it's just my skin. But as it settles, the vanilla calms down. Now, when the vanilla calms down, the oud amps up a little bit, but the oud is not skanky, barnyardy, fecal, funky, animalic. It's none of that. It densens the fragrance, woodsy aroma. But as that vanilla calms down and the fragrance calms down, that woodsy undertone does turn up a little bit. Then the caramel becomes a little bit more present along with the patchouli. The rum to my nose or on my skin always stays in the back. Like when it opens up, it's behind the vanilla. When the patchouli comes in with the vanilla or alongside the vanilla, the rum is sitting behind the patchouli and it acts that way all the way through into the dry down. Not overly complex. But man, this thing is sexy, dark, mysterious, sexy, date night worthy. To me, this is unisex, leaning masculine. And the reason why I say that is because of the oud. And I mean, obviously, some women out there like wearing boozy fragrances. I love boozy fragrances. But not every single woman likes a boozy fragrance. So to me, maybe because of that boozy quality and the oud, it leans a little bit more masculine, unisex leaning masculine. That is how I would class this fragrance. Where to wear it? Definitely dressed up. This would be perfect for a date night. It has a dark, sexy, sweet edge to it with a little bit of, with a little bit of a boozy edge. Longevity. Eight to ten hours on clothes. I sprayed my dressing gown a few days back. And obviously you don't wear your dressing gown once and wash it. The scent of vampire rum is still very present. It's hanging down at the bottom of the stairs. And every time I walk past the dressing gown, I can still smell vampire rum. And I've probably done four sprays. I've done two on each side of the collar of the dressing gown. So it lasts for days on clothes. Projection is big for the first couple of hours. You will leave a scent trail. The sweetness is not overdone. The oud is definitely not overdone. Heavy on the vanilla. A little bit of a boozy edge. A nice chocolatey patchouli. A little bit of a woodsy undertone. Does have a touch of musk to it. A little bit of caramel. Chef's kiss. Hats off to the perfumer, I think it's that good. And like I say, there is no doubt about it. I would be buying a backup bottle of Vampire Rum, 110%. I always want to have this fragrance in my collection. I think it is that good. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my update review on this bad boy. As you can see, I'm hyped. You definitely can tell that I enjoy the fragrance. I definitely think if you enjoy loads of vanilla, booze and patchouli, I definitely think you should try Vampire Rum out because I think you will fall in love with it like I have. But what do I know? Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you've tried Vampire Rum. Let me know which one is your favourite from Lorenzo Pazagalia. I have another one on the way. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Can you guess which one it's going to be? I cannot wait to smell it. Actually, I've got one on its way, a full bottle presentation, and I've ordered a sample of another one from his house. I told you that I want to dive deeper into Lorenzo Pezzagalia, and that is what I intend to do. Remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore, and I'll see you lot on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.